Hey YouTube, how's it going today? Tutorial Region here, and I'm making a video, um, and it's pretty much something that I've already done before, but the problem is that people are saying that because TeamSpeak has updated and changed, they're not able to do what I showed them. You know, they're not they're not able to upload icons and whatever for whatever reason. And what I did was I set my team speak to the new updated look and I'm gonna show them that it's the same way. So what you need to do is open up settings and go to options. Now we do this to open up the advanced permission system that you need to have open for setting the icons. Now there's two ways to do this is you can either click on permissions on the top and click on server groups or you can just right click your name permissions then client permissions and then go over to server groups now I'm setting an icon for an actual server group I'm not setting it for a certain user you can do whatever you want but this is what I'm doing now there's gonna be two things here that you pretty much need is one you need to make sure that you port forwarded your file transfer for TeamSpeak. If you don't do that then you're not going to be able to upload icons and you're going to get the following error right here. Now I didn't port forward it, set the icon and nothing popped up and this is the error that you're going to get just to make sure that yeah that's the error. So I went ahead and port forwarded it you can look at my other videos. I posted videos on how to port forward TeamSpeak properly. And so that's squared away. Two is that you're going to need an icon for TeamSpeak. And it needs to be a 16 by 16 image size. And JPEG, PNG, it don't matter. Um, I already have one set up. I downloaded it online. So I'm going to be using that. So go ahead and click on Group find icon ID and click on the value and it's going to bring up icons click on upload and find the image file that you want to upload as you can see that I uploaded GTA 5 icon and this is under the remote tab you just double click on that and as you can see it changed the value of the icon to the GTA 5 logo now it works the same thing for setting as client you just go to client permissions group icon ID this time it's going to be gray because I never set an icon for this user and then you can just go ahead and click on any icon that you want obviously I just did it and it popped up a new icon for my user but for now I'm just going to remove that permission and it pops right off you can do the same thing for channel permissions, it's under group, icon ID, and you can just find it there. Um, but pretty much that's it. You know, there's no difference between any theme on TeamSpeak, it's all the same. Just make sure that you open up those advanced uh, permission system, and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked the video. I'll talk to you later.